Victor left its mark in scattered locations here in Northeast Florida. One area hard hit with downed trees, Empire Point, just off Atlantic Boulevard, near the entrance to the Hart Bridge. Channel 4's Jim Pickett was there this morning as people were cleaning up. They were trying to get out. Jim is joining us now. So, Jim, you're at the beach right now. Uh, but what was it like on the area on the south side when you got a chance to see it? Totally different than here at the beach. You know, right here at the beach, the problem that they've been dealing with, of course, was the surge, the flooding. That's been the concern there. But as we were driving down here, we went past Empire Point up there on Atlantic Boulevard. And I'll tell you, that place, it was a mess. There was problems there as well. The problems there are caused by many other parts in Jacksonville, like even in Avondale, the high winds bringing down the trees. So that's been the concern there. And take a look at what happened over there. For people in the Empire Point area, getting in and out of the storm was difficult. The live oaks and water oaks with their shallow root system were easy targets for the storm. The trees came down on houses, doing damage to many roofs. It also knocked electrical lines down and blocked roads. In this case, they actually propped up a portion of the fallen tree in order to allow cars to drive underneath it. For William Falk, that just wasn't enough. He needed to get out, but was stuck until the city can remove the trees in the area. But he's not complaining. Well, we are, but Jacksonville's a lovely place, and if I have to be stuck somewhere, I'm happy to be stuck here. What's happening in Empire Point is happening all across the city. Public Works is assessing the damage and actually doing what they call a cut and toss, removing trees by cutting them and then placing them on the side of the road for future disposal. It's also something the city says homeowners can do as well, and they'll have more details about debris removal in the near future. JEA power crews were also out in force. This was a very common sight with crews from in and out of town working on the lines trying to bring everything Thing back online. That was the most welcome side I think that people saw were the JEA folks working around town. I've been getting emails, people saying, can you please help? You know, we don't have power in the Avondale area and it could take weeks for that, or not weeks, or, you know, several days for that to happen. Uh, JEA says they're going as fast as they can and they know if you don't have power now, it could be several days before it's returned. I know it's uncomfortable, but they say they are working hard and we heard a little bit earlier of other crews coming in. We're live at Jacksonville Beach, Jim Pickett Channel, for the local station.